Hey guys, for today's Dollar Tree DIY, I'll be showing you how I made this propagation station for my plant cuttings. I have a ton of house plants and I always have jars and vases everywhere in my house filled with plant cuttings, so I thought it would be cute to make a decorative little station for them. If you're new to my channel, I hope you click the subscribe button before you leave, turn on your notification bell, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Now let's get into this DIY. The main pieces I'm going to be using for this DIY are a Dollar Tree bamboo cutting board and three plastic test tube looking vials. I found them in the office supply section of Dollar Tree and they're just filled with these tiny erasers. So I just open them up and remove the caps and erasers and then set them aside. I'll end up using the erasers probably to make little embellishments for my journals later on so they're not going to waste. I also remove sticker labels from the vials and they're easy to remove. I didn't have to soak them or anything like that. They just came right off. Then I take some masking tape and put it around the lip of the tube where the cap goes because I'm going to be painting the tops of these tubes. Then I take the masking tape and add two strips about two inches or so from the edges because I will be painting there as well. I'm using the color Antique Gold by Folk Art and then I just begin painting the outer parts of the cutting board as well as the tops of the test tubes. I end up doing two coats, letting the first coat dry before painting on the second coat. After the paint was dry, I removed the masking tape from the cutting board and the test tubes. Then I took my sanding sponge and sanded off the pieces of blue paper that stuck to the wet paint while it was drying. I wanted to have this piece be a little elevated and not sit flat on a table, so I took four of these wooden craft cubes from Dollar Tree and hot glued them onto each corner of the bottom of the cutting board. Next, I took some of these tumbling tower blocks from the toy section at Dollar Tree and hot glued two rows of four together using the edge of the cutting board to make sure the blocks were glued together straight. After I had my blocks glued together, I took a single block, placed it down, and then I took my two rows of four, a test tube, and a pencil to mark how far apart the wood pieces needed to be spaced apart, if that makes sense. The lip of the test tube needs something to hold onto to keep them from falling through, so the spacing was important. And this part was a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but I managed to get it done. And it was only about a millimeter from each edge, so I just placed the hot glue on the inside of those marks that I had made on each side to make a rectangle. After I had my rectangle assembled, I needed to make the base. I started with using the same tumbling tower blocks, but I decided I didn't want to use those after gluing a few on, so I actually took them off and got out some wooden dowels from Dollar Tree. 
To attach the wooden dowels to the rectangle, I hot glued them inside of each corner. And I should have cut them to size first, but I ended up doing that after I glued them on. But you'll see later on how I got them to be even or level on the cutting board. And after I had my frame built, I just took it outside and spray painted it black. To attach my frame to the cutting board, I started off by standing it up where I wanted it to sit on the board, and then I just took a pencil and marked some drill spots. From there, I took a quarter inch drill bit with my drill and I just started drilling where I made those marks. And because I didn't cut the dowels evenly to begin with, some of the holes I needed to drill through more than others. So that's what I'm doing here. I just keep checking with my level and then going back and drilling more in the spots where I need to. And I ended up needing to go all the way through on the right hand side. And then I just took some hot glue and placed it in my drill holes and then place my dowel rods inside the holes. And that's it for this project. Once the dowels were glued in, I just double checked to make sure it was level. And then I added my test tube, some water, and some plants. I think I'm gonna go back after this video and paint the wooden blocks underneath the cutting board black to match the black frame. I think for Halloween, I'm also going to use some food coloring in the vials too. I think that would look pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this project. Let me know if you did by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content from me. Until my next video, I hope you have an amazing day and thanks for watching. Bye guys.